What is up, everybody? Tupperverse TV today. Now, we're going to talk about Horizon Forbidden West and their new DLC that just released, Burn and Shores. And apparently, their new DLC um, has caused a lot of controversy. People are raising concerns on both sides, whether it be Xbox or PlayStation, about this new direction. They took the character Aloy and a love interest in this game. So, this is going to be spoilers. I mean, spoilers for the game. Uh, once again, even though I don't think the story in Horizon Forbidden West is that compelling anyway, some people say otherwise, but I think the game just relies on a great, amazing visuals, and everything else is very lackluster, but you know, that's just my opinion, but spoilers nonetheless, uh, Aloy is um, in a same-sex relationship in this game, in the DLC, and people are wondering, like, people are uh, noticing that in these big Sony games, especially like in the DLC, they keep making their characters go a certain way. Like, it start, the trend started with The Last of Us. How Ellie was... From when I played The Last of Us, I thought she was straight. And then they released the DLC. The um, What was the DLC called? I'm drawing a blank on the DLC. The DLC, when she meets Riley, you see that she is um, a same-sex relationship. And then, um, with this new Horizon one, the character she's with in this DLC, she is in a same-sex relationship as well. Then apparently in the Chia game, which I haven't played yet, um, the character in that one is in the same situation. And even I would even say in the whole the, um, Uncharted Lost Legacy with Chloe and Nadine, they kind of give the impression that they're in the same situation right there too. So PlayStation is going real heavy on this whole um, inclusivity, uh, uh, alternate alternate lifestyle uh, being represented in their games. It's like some people are just quite, um, raising their eyebrows or scratching their heads. That's why is it so much? So, so, uh, so apparently with these statements, people are like noticing this. They, people, because people just saying, "Hey, we kind of notice this thing with PlayStation right now. They're definitely trying to promote these uh, relationships." And now, Sony fanboys are like saying the Xbox guys are homophobic because they are because the Xbox guys are pointing this out. Even though it's both sides kind of pointing this out, like saying, "Hey, we kind of see a trend here that's going on with these games." But this guy says, the Game Pass Effect, the Homophobe Edition. It's a project calling Xbox gamers homophobe, homophobes. But then again, the same guy who said the statement, <laughs> apparently they found some tweets about this guy saying it, really, some worse stuff than what the other people stated. You got a homophobic slur, homophobic slur right here. Uh, another homophobic, homophobic slur. And then I just outland is just a complete degenerate thing right here. Like what? <laughs> like you're saying this crazy stuff with the internet. Like you shouldn't be calling some. You shouldn't be throwing stones if you live in a glass house and saying the crazy stuff that this guy's been saying. So this is fascinating. Like really. And then another Sony fanboy saying, "Hey, you effing idiots didn't learn from Naughty Dog," as he adds PlayStation and Herma Host and Yoshi P. Uh, as you see, the uh, this is a scene that like caused a lot of controversy. Uh, which, if I were to play the game, I didn't. I wouldn't really care. But it's just the fact that the game is just so bo bo uh, uh, dull and boring to me. Like, I want to get back to this game at one point because I did play. I did enjoy the first one. Like, it was still kind of. I don't know. I, I only got like an hour to the second game when I was dropping, was dropping it. It just felt so boring. But I'm gonna try this game again though at one point. But, uh, but yeah. This 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 whole scene has caused people a lot of a lot of controversy. People saying the game is woke, Sony is woke now or whatever. So who knows? Then he says, not only did you lose my purchase for Burner Shores, you lost it for your live service trash that no one asked for. Stop shoehorning nonsense in our games to check a box. It won't end well. <laughs> wow, those guys are really pissed off about this. LG people exist, bro. They deserve to be recognized. Seethe about it. Yikes, this clown is strong with this one. So if it was a guy, it would be fine, right? Forbid we choose a woman where we go to further someone's character by pursuing romantic relationships in a game. You know that made that thing made of pixels and that's not even real. Yeah. So a lot of people are just roasting this guy in the comment section. <laughs> Bro is really punching the arrow with two women kissing. So, so I don't know. Is this a is this a current trend with um once again with uh PlayStation's games? Where they get like they release a DLC and we might select the character who we thought was probably possibly straight. They'd be like either bi or it's another same sex relationship. I don't know. If people are saying that, hey, if we got a God of War Ragnarok DLC, is is either Kratos or Atreus gonna be uh, in a same sex relationship? Who knows? 
So, uh, so this has caused a lot of controversy. <laughs> the PlayStation template. Okay. I'm just hoping for a buy Kratos. It thematically supported by him being from ancient Greece. Uh, oh, they learned. This is why The Last of Us 2 is one of the most awarded games of all time. And so millions, you bigot. <laughs> okay. Cope see it at mold. So they're just roasting the guy in the comment section, but this goes to so, it goes to show you, like I mean, I don't know. Just the fact that this caused so much controversy is really telling. Well, I can see why, because I guess I guess you probably think that the character's probably like straight and you get completely bombarded by the DLC and it's like, hey, they're not what you thought they were, so I don't know. At the end of the day, I don't truly care. <laughs> as long as the story is good, the gameplay is good, the visuals are good, that's all I really care about. I don't care what lifestyle you care to live in i don't care about the living just whatsoever as long as the story is good that's all i care about so and with horizon i just couldn't get into it i thought the game was just boring the oh, forbidden west was just boring but i might have to try it again once the game must like slows down i start cleaning up some of my back like I'm, I'm gonna try this game out at one point so try to get at one point so uh but yeah i'm gonna make this a short one because i only got too much to say about this other than people getting real butthurt about this <laughs> that's like at the end of the day like who truly cares at the end of the day is it agenda by sony to make these characters be ultra lifestyles who knows at the end of the day only the people behind these games really know what's going on we going to speculate so i don't know um but yeah i'm gonna include it right here it's just funny how these guys are so butthurt <laughs> so what so that the guy says what did you say uh, let me read the comment once again. I think he said he's just not going to buy the game now at this point. Yeah, so he's just not going to buy the DLC. Like, I don't know if this if this scene was enough to um to get me from buying the DLC if I really love the game. I don't know if that'd be enough, but, you know, as some would say, I even heard that out there. Somebody's even, somebody's even saying that Sony is, is, is not even going full stop with it. There's just half assing at this point because if you really want to show us that you're fully supportive of the of the LGBT movement, where are you gonna get two dudes? <laughs> two dudes smooching smooching each other at this point. Like, cause this is kinda like this is like the um the um what do you want to say? Like the sugar coated version of the LGBT movement. When you get the two dudes on the cover kissing each other in the game, people you really gonna see the people you're gonna see really outraged then at that point. But you know so, Sony ain't really going full throttle with it. They're really going to go full throttle and get Kratos. <laughs> Kiss it. I don't know. Another dude. I don't know. But I'm going to touch on the subject too long. But it's kind of funny at the end of the day that people are so outraged about this. But, you know, they outraged about this. But I know the outrage is going to be like a thousand times more if it was two dudes and two women. That's just for sure. But those are just my thoughts on this. Definitely want to see your thoughts down below that people are really, really not happy about this. Um,. So people were saying they're not even buying the DLC. And if you like, if you love the, if you love the game, why would you not buy the DLC? But you know, this scene was enough to get people to not buy it. So I don't know. And if you think Sony is having an agenda, let me know your thoughts down below about that too. Because I'm curious because people are saying there's a lot of trends going on. That if you just pay attention to our games and big games, there's definitely a trend going on with their big games. So I don't know. So I'm gonna leave it up to you. Definitely see your thoughts down below. Leave a like, like this video. And as always, thanks for watching and peace.